What's up, everybody? This your boy, Mr. Miller, checking in live from the basement of Miller's Corner. First off, I got to get this out the way. I just want to thank you. Want to say thank you to everybody that went and watched my comparison between the fake and the real Travis Scott sixes. I appreciate that. We're well over 1,600 views, and I appreciate it. That's kind of like my best, best ever. Uh, I think the way I put it out there was kind of simple, and it was kind of easy to watch, so I appreciate it. So, my today's reviews is the upcoming release that's coming out this Friday. Uh, it is a part of the off-white line uh, that I actually do like what he's doing with some of the other line, other than it's a Jordan. Uh, this one's going to be a, a review about the upcoming uh, Nike Vapor Street. There's three different colors out that came out. They're going to be the black, uh, there's going to be the blue, and then there's going to be the yellow. Uh, I'm surprised you guys with what I actually, what color I actually got. Uh, so here we go. We're gonna get into it. Let's ride. All right. So we got the packaging. Let's bust this sucker open right now. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it's the best feeling in the world right here. So, all right. So we got the normal orange box. Here we go. Normal packaging. Let's get this out the way. See, no big writing. It's kind of still a surprise for y'all. We're going to see how it goes. So, so, normal Nike box. Here we go. Now, this line is part of the, uh, the line he's kind of been doing. I don't know if you guys were conscious enough or looked at or just scooped the actual, the uh, T.A.R. Kigers. Uh, I ended up getting those. I got the white and green neon ones, which were kind of really dope. And I like what they did with that one. So I had to go with the Vapor Street. For people that don't know about the Vapor Street, that's, this this actual shoe was made for running. Uh, a lot of couple of marathoners wore the actual shoe. So this is a combination of the 4% uh, and the actual Vapor Fly Elite. So it's a common, so it's, it's a combination of those two shoes. So the Vapor Street is the actual one that is a you know kind of two of those put together so let's see what we got on this one so the normal packaging you know you always got the this is kind of what they've been putting in the women's shoe or at least the ones that i have for the the Kigers. yeah this is what they have so what color did i get so as you can see i got the yellow yeah let's see what else we got here normal packaging when it comes down to it which is a good thing you know got the off-white tag on there got the green the actual green color of the actual zip tie uh, fly kneading is dope like it's very much webbing let me get in on that it's kind of webbing you can kind of see that very much webbing you kind of see that it's kind of like netting on there so that's pretty cool uh also what they're doing is with this little string the kind of the laces i i actually like those and you can adjust it very well to give you an extra pull and a cushion with the actual shoe so i like what they did with the actual shoe when it came to that one also comes with a set of laces that's already in there these gonna come with the black uh, shoelaces on there boom shoelaces will probably will be on these as well the caps kind of let y'all see shoelaces and shoelaces again so y'all can kind of see so we're looking good also comes with the the the, the little percentile the little the, the little kind of like the zip kind of like a tag beaverton on there so you can actually see it bottom of the shoe is going to be uh, just kind of like still with that spiky. Um, a lot of people have complained about the spikiness on the actual shoe. Um, I don't have any complaints with it. Like I have the Kigers and I didn't, I didn't, I, it's a, it's an odd feeling, but it wasn't anything that's like killing me. So I, I'm actually kind of excited now for anybody that gets these, um, people, some people have asked me like, what size do I get? Um, cause these go up to, I think a, a men's. 13 i believe and i would have half size up on the kiger so i wouldn't half size up on these so i got a 13 which is 11 and a half in men's so i'm hoping that will now the original Va vapor streaks that i do have 
I went through 11 and a half as well. Um, and just give you a heads up, this is a this is about the same width and kind of pointiness. My son called them elf shoes because they look like elf shoes on the bottom. So just give you a heads up, it does feel, you know, it has that elfinish feel with it. But I, I didn't notice it. Uh, as you can kind of see the kind of imprints that's supposed to look like that. Kind of looks like even it's been coming off. And after a couple wears, you'll start to see that as well. So I like that. Now the Vapor Street is a was a marathon shoe, and my first pair were the red pairs that I actually do, did get. Um, the red pair, I, the red pair that I do have was very. Uh, it was odd to get used to because it's made for marathon running. So I was actually cool with it, you know. And I ran a marathon. Oh, I'm sorry, I walked a marathon. <laughs> so that's kind of it. On there, kind of look at the detail. Both of them come with the tags. Nike on the back. Here, there's some nice little detail on there. Look at that. Yeah, got Nike on there. Still got the yellow tag on there as well. But I'm liking that, that little webbing on there. That's kind of dope. That's pretty dope. So let's talk about the shoe. So that was the unboxing. Let's talk about the detail of the actual shoe and kind of give you like the backdrop of the release now once again this will this will release at of course the sneakers app on friday and it will be released probably in a sneak drop all the la chicago something like that so but those are the ones that i actually end up picking so i want to talk about the shoe exactly so y'all guys can kind of get a feel of the actual shoe and kind of even though you may not know about the the vapor uh vapor max streets and so i want to kind of give you the feel of what i had because a lot of people don't have the back the back they don't even have the backstory but not only have never worn the style of shoe so they might be caught you might i'm warning people that this is a unconventional feel if you've never had a pair of the actual vapor streets and like i said earlier i have the first vapor streets um that came out and i loved them uh, I got the all red pair uh, from a guy that that was close to him, and he hooked me up. And um, I was I was getting ready to run a marathon, and it was like the the number it was a hot shoe at the time, and it had just came out, and it came out in red, so I'm already sold. But to talk about the shoe, which here take a look at the the shoe I have first before the off white, which are gonna be the Vapor Streets. But the Vapor Streets are gonna be you know. Just by looking at it, it's a, it's a it's got the fly knit. Uh, it has the actual good netting on there. The shoelaces are positioned perfectly, um, and I love it. Now back to the shoe. I like I said, these are the red pair I actually do have uh, for the shoe for the before we get into the uh, actual off whites. I love it. As you see the bottom. Sorry for the dirty soles. I wear my joints, but they're pointy. And my son, like I said earlier, is kind of like. Uh, those look like some elf shoes, and they kind of do. Uh, but I love them. Like they're just really comfortable, and it feels like you don't have these on feet when I wore them. Uh, so when I did the marathon, I'm sorry, when I walked the marathon, it, it just felt like my feet. I was never complained about my feet hurting or discomfort while walking, different things like that. And when I did jog, the shoe was perfect, as you can kind of see. The bottom of the shoe is pointed, so it kind of gives you that perfect heel toe, heel toe when you're running. So that's why that's kind of constructed, and also the grooves on the actual bottom of the sole are constructed for that, or you know, or just my walking. So just give you a heads up. So I have the the first one. So when, and I love these the way they feel. So I was like, okay, when I seen Off White did them, I was like, man, I gotta do, I gotta get a pair. So let's take a look at the the Vapor Streets, the Off White. The off white version, which is a very like I was showing you earlier, is a very, very dope ass shoe, in my opinion. It's kind of the details what Virgil is kind of giving you 
when you talk about this shoe. It's the details. He is deconstructing a lot of his shoes that he's making for you guys. So with that being said, you can already out the gate kind of see when I was showing you the webbing. The webbing is like I didn't know it had the webbing. So if you, you can see that up close, you can kind of see the webbing on that bad boy. And it, it kind of gives it a, a different look. It doesn't take away from the actual shoe. It just really kind of gives it, a, it accentuates the shoe. And the off-white is not hidden, which in some cases, if you remember the Kigers, the Kigers are, it's, it's smaller off-white. So you don't really get to see the off-white at all. You kind of just, but this one, it's, it's plastered pretty good on there. The bottom of the soles are the same, other than the track part of it which I'm going to show you, you know, it's the other than that, that's, it's a really about the same shoe. And like I said, with the Kigers, I was not, this didn't bother me. And a lot of people had said, they were like, man, that those spikes bother me. They, yeah, they fine when I first put a mumble and I'm outside, you really don't notice them. So I was like, I, they fine to me and they comfortable as heck on feet. And they, I love the colorway. So I was cool with it. Some of the nicest things I do like about this one, of course, is going to be the, the, just a little touch of blue with the tongue. I'm loving that. And the, the off-white, it doesn't have off-white on, on that. It's actually just a, just a hard zip tie. It kind of feels like turf, if anything. So I like that about the shoe. I'm loving that. He picks the right colors when he does these. Uh, if you guys don't appreciate it, he really does. I mean, kind of like with the blue and the yellow, it's got the black to pull the black in. It's got the orange to match the tongue, the Nike. Like, he's pulling everything together, guys. I mean, I think that is what makes these kind of really sick. Is You know, they kind of, he just pulls the right colors. Even with the black ones, the black ones are cold. They just are. And for everybody that don't know, these extra sidings with the with the actual, the extra string, that actually will pull the shoe together even more. So give you more cushion when you're actually having the shoe on. Everybody's like, why do you have, like, for real. Like, it, this will give you extra cushion. So people, this is not for show. This is actually for comfort, in my opinion. I actually like the fact that it's got that good feel on there. And the string actually does help. Which both of the uh, both of the previous versions of these actually do have it. So if you get an opportunity to actually grab you a pair, grab, I think you would be very much satisfied. But I warn you, just make sure you're uh, expecting a different feel out the gate. You get used to it. The shoe is a very nice shoe on feet. Very comfortable shoe. Don't let the the bottom of the sole kind of fool you. But it's actually pretty dope to me. So it rock what you like. You know what I'm saying? So don't follow the hype. So. I love them. In closing, I really do. These get two thumbs up for sure. I would pick up. The next ones I want to pick up in these are actually probably going to be the black ones. I, I I just like the black ones. The blue ones are rare, maybe, but I actually do. Everybody loves a black shoe. So I'm thinking about digging out the black ones. Which one are you going to get? Drop me a comment. Holler at me on Instagram. Let me know what you're going to drop or you're going to pick up. So it's cool. Remember, this shoe actually drops on Friday for 190 bucks on Sneakers app and some other locations. So be prepared if you're in L.A. or you in Chicago or New York. Guess what? Y'all probably going to get that drop. Whatever. Whatever. But I love the shoe. I'm glad I got an early pair. Glad I was able to do a review for you guys. Please, once again, uh, share, like, comment, view it, watch it. All that good stuff for you, boy. Thank you again for the Travis Scott. All the love for the Travis Scott. Just doing it for the culture. Everybody hit me up uh, and ask me, hey, send me, ask me this, ask me that. Cool. Hit me up. Let me know. So, in closing, it's your boy, Mr. Miller, checking in live from the basement of Miller's Corner. I will be in Chicago this weekend for SneakerCon. If you're going to be there, hit me up on IG, Mr. Miller. Mr. Underscore Miller 1, holler at me. Drop me a comment. Hey, let's link up, take a picture. Hey, I'm doing on-spot interviews if I can. So, it is what it is. So, I'm out. Give you some on-feet love. Y'all be blessed.